Mike and Sheriff Police have been investigating this deadly hit and run for nearly a month, and the suspect is still on the run. Tonight, in an emotional interview, I spoke with the victim's wife, who was asking for the public's help. It's been hard. You know, we have two kids. I have a nine-year-old and a 13-year-old, and they still think it's a dream. For Diana Roman Sines and her children, the past month has been a nightmare. Their 37-year-old loving husband and father, Miguel Urias, was killed November 7th while riding his motorcycle home in South L.A. Flowers and candles have been placed at the crash site. And it's just senseless that these people are not careful, and they just... They just did that to him. Surveillance video shows the moment of impact. Urias had just left his mother's home going westbound on Manchester near San Pedro when he was cut off by a car, sending him flying onto the road before getting run over. The driver at fault did not stop. Urias was pronounced dead at the hospital later that night. He was an amazing guy, a hard worker. He loves his family and his kids. That's why he was coming home from from his mom's house because he went to go visit her. So, you know, he was a funny guy. He always had you laughing and he always left the light up to everybody. Everybody remembered him. The LAPD has been investigating the deadly hit and run, but they do not have an exact vehicle description. The family's attorney hopes the surveillance video helps. It's either a black or green charger, most likely a black one, uh, a female with 20 to 30s, and the license plate starts with an 8, ends in a 234. So we have little bits and pieces of information that hopefully someone out there can help us put together. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to help Urias' wife, daughter, and son. They have this plea. Get this person off the streets because it's not fair that he died and they're just out there. And you can find their GoFundMe page by heading to our website, KTLA.com. Of course, anyone with any information on the hit and run driver is encouraged to contact the LAPD. We're live tonight in downtown LA. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.